House Chair, let me start off this debate by greeting the Commander-in-Chief and President of the Economic Freedom Fighters, Comrade Julius Silo Malema, the EFF Battalion deployed in Parliament, provincial legislatures throughout the country, and municipalities under the leadership of the Deputy President, Commissar Nico Shivambu, members of the Central Command Team who are present here, and all ground forces of the July 26 movement, the Economic Freedom Fighters. Chairperson, we are here today to forward the struggle of development, development and the building of dysfunctional municipalities as enshrined in the EFF manifesto. As we have witnessed a lack of direction in terms of development in these municipalities under the tenure of Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa of the African National Congress. Chairperson, the speaker who spoke before me have demonstrated that we are dealing with an individual who does not mean what he says and does not intend to do what he says. And as a result, our municipalities through South Africa have collapsed. When Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa took over office in the year 2018, 128 municipalities were reported to be in financial distress and dysfunctional. House Chair, let's quickly look at what Mr. Sir Ramaphosa has said since he took office. For he has said demonstrate lack of vision for viable local government, misalignment of functions, and allocation of resources in this sphere of government, lack of skills and technical capacity, corruption, age and you, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. He has said a lot of nothing. However, one of the many reasons we are giving them a tax break and subsidies on a condition that they will create sustainable jobs. Chairperson, this will also allow us to depopulate cities while there is enough unutilized land in other provinces. But what is to be done in the immediate? Chair, if we are going to fix local government, we don't need the so-called district developmental model, Mr. President. We know that this, this is just another poorly thought concept from your office. We need to change the equitable share formula to give municipalities more resources to be able to provide basic services to South Africans throughout the country. Chair, we need to change the equitable share to allocate enough funds to clean up illegal dumping sites in what 29 of, of Westrand and what 8 of Mezimahulu in the Free State. We need to allocate enough funds for what 23 in Mezimahulu to fix unattended overflow of sewage that include Mangawung Metro. Chairperson, we need Nkosi Langalibali, the local municipality, to build internal capacity to deal with flooding challenges during this rainy season, particularly in Watu, in Emoyen. We need to fund clinics in Jomrolong area in the Northern Cape province. We need funds to build proper water infrastructure in what one of Karierberg in the Northern Cape, where people are without water. The people of Diergram informal settlement in Karierberg needs water. As you conclude, Honorable Mokawose. The people of Carrington in Kuruman, Ward 7 of Jomorolong, are without water and electricity. Chairperson, we are here as the EFF to say, 
until we ensure that municipalities has a clear town planning program informed by a land audit, formalized in formal settlements, there is no hope for local government. And we are going Honorable to demonstrate Mokawuse. that indeed we can govern Honorable when Mokawuse. we take over power come 2024. Thank you. The next speaker is the Deputy Minister of Corporate.